Hello everyone. I welcome you all to the maths class. This is your Dipesh sir here. I'll be conducting your maths class. As you are all promoted to class six, I congratulate you all. So as this is the first day of our maths class, so I'll be talking about the first chapter that is the knowing our numbers from your maths NCERT book. This is your first chapter, right? But before going into the exercise. let us have some introduction part all right before uh, without uh, being without touching the introduction without having an introduction part we cannot solve the exercise given in the chapter so for that we need to have the introduction so i would like to introduce the first number that is counting number as the name of the chapter is knowing our numbers right so we have to know what are the numbers what are the numbers there so we need to know what are the numbers what are the role of a number so those all needs to be noted down right so first of all we have is counting numbers what do you mean by counting numbers counting numbers are all the natural numbers we use in our day to day life so that is to count a number of student yes we start from 1 till uh, what are the number of student present in the class next we have uh, next example i would like to take is the number of fishes in the pond or in the aquarium so we basically count from 1 we actually count from 1 so those are all the numbers which are called the counting numbers okay so counting numbers are all the natural numbers which start from 1 till infinity till where you can count so 1 2 3 4 5 6 till lakh 10 lakh crore million 10 million 10 crore 10 million so this all numbers are call the counting numbers but this numbers should be positive numbers that is positive 1 positive 2 so you can see in this number line here so let me take the pen here you can see in the number line here so these are all the number line in a number line the these numbers are all the counting numbers okay so next uh, number we have is whole number what do you mean by whole number if i take zero in a number line if i you can see in the number line here if i have taken a zero also so zero if you include from zero 0 1 2 3 4 these all numbers will be considered as a whole number that means the whole numbers are the part of the number system in which it includes all the positive integers remember all the positive integer means from 1 onwards that also includes zero as zero till infinity so that means 0 to infinity will be considered as a whole number clear to everyone okay so next topic which i have also discussed in the special class with you all that is integers are the number which can be positive numbers which can be negative numbers and which can be zero also but it cannot be fraction so you can see in the example part there so minus 5 4 these all numbers and in a number line you can see so uh, we have conclude we have said that from 0 onwards if you take in a number line will be considered as a whole number but from 1 positive 1 we will consider it as a natural number n and this w is a whole number but if what if you have a negative number you have a negative number also so if you have a negative number then we cannot give such number we cannot give such name but we will consider that as an integer so integers if we uh, that's why i have given in a number system here number line here that integers are the numbers which include 0 all right if you move from 0 forward that is you will get the positive number plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 if you move back towards uh, the negative towards the negative you will get the negative area negative area that will be considered as the negative and negative integer so integers include the zero zero is neither positive nor negative so it includes the positive value that is plus 1 plus 2 till infinity and here the negative value that is zero minus 1 all the numbers zero is not a negative so negative uh, negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 till infinity will be considered as an integers i hope the concept of an integers is clear okay so let's proceed to the next slide okay next topic what we are going to see what we are going to learn in this chapter is comparing numbers so we will compare a number so what do you mean by comparing a number so comparing a number means 
say for you have the single digit number that is 2 one digit number and 3 so we will compare the number in between compare means which one is the greatest number <clears throat> which which is the smallest or which is the greatest yes we will compare the number we will try to form a number we will try to form a number with this two number say you can make 23 you can make 32 so two type of number we are able to form with this 2 and 3 also we can also we can compare this number right also we can compare in between this 2 and 3 so which one is greater 2 or 3 as this both are as this both are the single digit number so first of all we have to count you all know the counting 1 2 3 so 1 2 3 so which one is coming first 2 is coming first and which one is coming later the later number whatever is coming will be considered as a greater number isn't it so that's how we uh, denote actually yes so we will say we will put this type of sign and the comparing we usually do in such manner so let's go to the next example with uh, let's see with the double digit number say we have 10 and we have the number uh, 15 two, uh, two digit number so in this number basically how to how to see we all know this till second digit number we can count we can count that 10 11 12 13 14 15 we all know that 15 comes at the last so 15 is coming at the last so 15 is greater here okay so this is how we do the comparing and you will come to know uh, you will come to see various examples various um, things you will come to know in this chapter by via comparing all right so let's proceed to the next slide so this is the uh, page which uh, which i have taken from your maths ncrt it is quite hazy one but as we have done quite a lot of earlier let us see if we remember which is the greatest among this so you all know how to choose the greatest number so here they are saying this i'm uh, i'm the greatest among here so why it is why is it uh, why this has to be the greatest number you can see 92 okay 92 next we have is 392 then we have 4 4 5 6 yes then we have 8 9 7 4 2 among this they are uh, saying that he is saying that I am the greatest no no one can win me so of course he is a great why just see this is two digit number this is three digit number this is four digit number this is five digit number so five digit of course we can easily say that five digit number is the greatest number as when we start counting as you start writing from 92 to 8987 will come at the last so as i've told you when we are comparing the number when we start counting the last number the number whichever is given at the last will be considered as the greatest number suppose it it's not like that if i write 8742 here and then 92 here we will not count from 8972 right forward counting we have to do that means 0 1 2 3 4 we have to count like that so in between 0 and 5 which is the greatest 5 is the greatest in between 5 and 10 which is the greatest so 10 is the greatest in between 10 and 12 uh, 10 and uh, 9 which one is the greatest now we cannot say 10 9 forward counting should be done that is 9 10 so which one will be greater 10 will be greater of course 10 is a two digit number 9 is a single digit number so that's how also we can do it similarly co uh, comparing a number can be done like this so the, uh, by looking at the digit how many digit are there this is five digit number this is two digit number so of course we can say that five digit number is greater than two, two digit number all right i hope this is clear to everyone okay next thing what we are going to see in this chapter is how to use a comma so many of us face a problem so where to and how to use a comma so these things are also we are going to learn in this chapter so i will i would like to give uh, one example to you all say for 1000 we will not put any comma in place of 100 okay as because this is a 100 place uh, we will start putting comma only uh, from the thousand place okay so if you have 1000 then here will be the comma given right if you have 10,000 10,000 then after three digit 
that is from ones tens and hundred uh, this after this place only one comma should be given all right so this is how we put the comma if you have one lakh say one two in one lakh five digits are five zeros are there three four five so in this case where to put the uh, where to put the comma so now in this uh, part where to put the comma and how to put the comma this is the thing so i have told you in the thousand case that after three digit the comma was given similarly here also after ones tens and hundred one comma should be given this is the first rule and the next comma should be given after the two digit that is leaving the thousand and ten thousand position okay so comma should be given like this okay i hope uh, the concept is clear right so in our next class we will be touching more part of the example more part of the exercise in which you will come to know where and how to use the comma okay so next part we have is the using bracket this is the important topic in this uh, chapter that is how to use the bracket and what is the criteria what is the uh, fall of various properties dealing with the bracket but uh, before that i would like to share you with you all what are the types of bracket we actually use till class 6 level or 7 or 8 level okay so let's see the three types of a bracket here are the first one we have is the round bracket it is also known as the first bracket okay so basically we will be dealing with the name round bracket or the first bracket next we have, next one we have is the curly bracket so curly name itself is indicating that so curly means some of a curly shapes right so this is the curly bracket okay and the third one which we have is the square bracket which is derived from the square object so three types of a bracket we have is the round bracket curly bracket and the second uh, square bracket first bracket second bracket and third bracket okay so this is the opening parts so this is how we actually open and this is the closing part remember whenever we are using the bracket when you open the bracket it should be closed right so if you have to uh, suppose write this type of a bracket first of all this bracket should be given this is the round bracket then the curly bracket should be given then the square bracket should be given to you given in the uh, exercise given in the numbers okay this is the important thing so okay so in our next class in our next uh, class that is tomorrow i'll be dealing with the exercise for now we will keep here all right thank you everyone i hope you people enjoyed the video i want you all to go through this once again properly and kindly share me your doubts if you have any and from our next class as mentioned i'll be going through the exercise all right thank you everyone